Welcome to Iron Horse Brewery Craft Beer Craft Time. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to turn a t-shirt into a shopping bag. Because in Ellensburg, Washington, starting January 1st, there is now a five cent fee for every bag you use um, at the store or at like different shops when you're in town. So if you come into town for St. Patty's Day or our Eastern Washington Brew Fest or maybe Winter Hop Fest, um, you might need a bag. And this way will help you save money. So um, what you need is a t-shirt, a Sharpie, a growler, scissors, and a sewing machine. So let's get started. It's gonna be easier than you would think. First, what I do, all right, first what I do is uh, use the growler to kind of figure out eh, how big of a neck hole type thing should I be cutting. If you're using a woman's shirt, um, a lot of our women's shirts have the V-neck. You can just use that as your guide. Do whatever you prefer. Um, I'm going to basically draw a line from the shoulders to the top of the growler. Kind of straight, doesn't have to be. I promise it doesn't have to be pretty. This is punk rock. You're gonna do it yourself. Move my growler. And I'm going to literally just cut on both sides of the t-shirt on that neckline. Make sure these scissors don't cut paper. That way it'll stay sharp enough to cut your fabric. If you see somebody who's cutting paper with your fabric scissors, you have my permission to, um, you know, cause bodily harm, because that's what I do in my household. After you cut the neck, uh, then, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> then it's time to cut the armholes. What I like to do is actually cut the armholes outside of the seam, so it has a little bit of a stronger, just kind of um, weight-bearing capabilities. So I just cut it right there. Hey, it's Craft Beer Craft Time. You want to join? Also, no. <laughs> then cut the arms. <laughs> All right. Now you have a muscle shirt for if you CrossFit. Yay! Or, as I like to do, a big shopping bag for when I go shopping. So I cut that off and I just flipped it inside out. So now comes. The easiest or the hardest part, depending on who you're talking to, you're gonna sew this shut. So, I kind of lined up the seams, just to make sure that it doesn't sit all wonky. Lay this out flat. Put up my sewing machine. It's the Maria Osmond edition. I'm very proud of it. Okay, so then, what I like to do is I sew down this um, seam. I first start with a straight stitch inside of where the um, this little part is where the serving is at. And if you want to make it nice and strong, I recommend that you back stitch and forward stitch um, at the beginning and at the end. Shake it a little bit. And then 
and uh, maybe put a growler in there. If you decide that you want to use a growler in there. Ta da! It's okay. And if you decide that the openings are quite wide enough or long enough, you can always cut them a little bit more. But now you have a shopping bag. So when you come to town, make sure to bring a bag. Adam, your bag's ready. Sweet. Yay! Just need my hands. <laughs>